Hi there, welcome to Floating in Dreams. This video is going to be my favorite luxury and high-end bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. Welcome to everybody watching today. Thank you so very much for joining me. This video is another installment in my luxury makeup series that I'm doing all week this week here on the channel. I thought it could be good to share with you my recommendations of the products that I would recommend you splurge on. So that's where I'm coming from with this video. And today we're sharing the top 10 favorite cheek products. So bronzer, blush and highlight, be it powder, be it liquid. These are some of my favorites. Before we get into the video, it will be good to know what I like doing on this channel in case you're new here. Hi, my name is Maika. I live in the Netherlands. I have fair skin with a cool to neutral undertone and this greatly influences how I feel about makeup. I have been reviewing makeup for more than a decade. I love trying out eyeshadow palettes, Essence and Catrice and getting the use out of my makeup. So if that's something you're interested in, then I hope you'd like to consider subscribing. So my favorite blush, bronzer, and highlight, I think if I had to make the selection again tomorrow, it would be slightly different. There are definitely products that I love that are by higher end brands that fall into these categories, but then there are like by Becca and they're discontinued. And I have just found that when it comes to cheek products, I, I tend to like my drugstore stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I tend to really adore drugstore and the higher end things, I just have my original favorites that I keep around all the time and it doesn't change up too much. So that's why I think if you've been following my channel for a while, these will be no surprise. For those people who are interested, I will be leaving some links in the description box down below because I have reviews up for all of these. So if you wanna see swatches and when they, what they look like on my cheeks, you can definitely see that. Um, and I will also be having some affiliate links in the description box. So if you want to choose, if you want to shop any of these, you can. Um, please be mindful that I can make a small commission if you do decide to shop through them. But I hope you also want to help out the channel because that's essentially how I use because that's essentially how I end up using the money I make with the affiliate link program that I'm a part of. I tend to put it towards buying products to review. So. That if that's something you don't mind me doing, then maybe that can be worth it for you. So let's start with bronzers first, because I have two things here. And the first one I have for you is the Fenty Beauty Bronzer. Currently on my face and in my shop, my stash is my Becca Bronzer in Bali Sands. And that is one of my longest standing favorite bronzers ever together with this. But because the Becca one, can, you can no longer buy it. It doesn't make sense for me to like put it in a video. But this is like my my second favorite. There's hard pan. There's a huge dip, which I'm not even sure you can see. This is one where I'm like, could I hit pan on this? I definitely think I can. So I definitely want to go back to this. However, at the minute, this is a little bit too light for me because we're in the midst of summer. I will be going back to it though in the fall time because I do really enjoy this. So I'm currently trying to hit pan on my Becca one. So that's I'm prioritizing that you could say but the Fenty Beauty, uh, uh, what's it called again? The Sun Stalker Bronzer in In The Sun. It's a longstanding favorite for a reason. It's super light. I bought this actually, who recommended this? Cause I don't, I didn't clock this as something that could be right for me. Um, but then um, I think it was Lisa Eldridge who mentioned this one, this particular shade in the video and I ended up buying it and fell in love. So Fenty Beauty, Beauty In The Sun chef's kiss. And the other bronzer I have for you is a cream bronzer. And this is the Rare Beauty, uh, is it called the Positive Light Stick? Power Boost, that's the shade name. Uh, and this is my favorite cream bronzer. It's a little bit grubby. I do have to apologize. For some people, this is perhaps too yellow. For me, it's quite okay. I tend to like bronzers that are a little bit more yellow toned. And I also really enjoy bronzers that, um, and I also love bronzers that most brands will recommend as contours. So there's that. <laughs> so if you have pale skin or like you have a slightly cooler undertone, finding bronzers can be a challenge. And these are some of my favorites that are higher end. But like I mentioned, I struggle to find like good high end options because most of the things I have are drugstore which, I mean, I would love to put my Kiko one in here, but 
that's not a high-end brand. Next up, I want to share my favorite highlighters with you. And the two of these are actually currently in my shop, my sash. Maybe that's why they became top of mind. But then again, I was looking around my makeup drawer. And again, most of my highlighters that I love are drugstore or K-beauty. <laughs> what else is new? But yeah, the RMS Beauty Living Luminizer is one of my favorites, which is why I had selected it yet again. This is really pretty. It's a very glossy, balmy sort of thing. It perhaps doesn't do a lot for most people, but I'm currently really in my like natural highlight era. So this is really pretty on for sure. And I adore that product. Another product that I feel gives a very similar look is this. And this is the Glossier Halo Scope in the shade Quartz. Mine is super dirty. Maybe I should like try and see if I can pick up a new one now that they ship internationally because this is just horrible looking by now. I don't, like, I feel I've used this so much, but there's still so much product left. And I know people have used this up and I'm like, how? Because you only need a little bit with this and it gives a very similar effect, I feel, to the R RMS Beauty where you um, just get this, like, really nice glass skin look and that's what I prefer. So that's why... The Halo Scope by Glossier is a really good one. I think I should pick this for my Shop My Stash next month. What do you guys think? And finally, another product that's currently in my Shop My Stash is this MAC Extra Dimension in Show Gold. Uh, and Show Gold is perhaps, uh, please open, uh, is perhaps not a product that you think, hmm, is that gonna work for your fair skin? But I love this. I have shades like this that do this from so many different brands. It's essentially a gold with a pink flash. And in the summertime, when I do have a little bit more color to my skin, it's so pretty. But this this way you think, hmm, that's too dark. But this is what it looks like on the skin. That bright flash of pink, that's what comes through most on me. The gold almost neutralizes away on my skin and it's so pretty. I think if you have deep skin, you're gonna see more of the gold though. I think it's very adaptable depending on your skin type and skin tone, I should say. So those were the first five products, but I have five more and all of those are gonna be blushes. Let me start with the cream and liquid. So here again, I was like, wow, I mainly have affordable drugstore things and the high-end things I do have are good, but I wouldn't dub them favorites save for these two. Um, I have my Rare Beauty uh, liquid blush in Encourage. I also have the shade Hope, which I also really love. So I, I, I will go back and forth between those two. This is more of like a warmer mauve tone, super pretty, super easy to travel with, and you get a lot of product. I do have to say that within the Rare Beauty range, there are matte blushes and there are dewy blushes. I prefer the dewy ones over the mattes. I used to have one of the matte ones and that one I found hard to blend. This one isn't. Um, a, a little goes a long way with these. Like literally, I just take a dab of it on the back of my hand and then I still have product left after applying it to my face. A little goes a long way with the Rare Beauty. Another product that I, I think I fell in love with this pretty much instantly when I started using it, it's by Makeup by Mario, and it's the, um, let me see, the name is a mouthful, the Soft Pop Blush Stick in the shade Dusty Rose. I almost bought this in a much darker shade. It doesn't twist back anymore. I twisted it up too far, and now it no longer, well, it, it will no longer go back in. Um, but it's fine. It's doing okay and I'm pretty sure I could use up that much the next time I use it, so it's gonna be fine. This is a very dewy formula. If you don't like a dewy blush, maybe stay away from this because this one is intense uh, in terms of the glow that it gives. Not in terms of shade, it's quite a sheer shade, I have to say, um, but Dusty Rose is such a good natural, just flushed look for me that I really enjoy this. It's so pretty on. It's giving a lot of shininess to the cheeks. When I wear that, I don't even really need to wear a highlighter. So that's how shiny it is. That may not be for everyone. It can feel a little bit sticky at first, but I feel it settles down and it stays put really well, at least on my dry skin it did. So that's a more recent favorite that I've added to the collection. And if I say that's a favorite, I, I was in Sephora when I was in Paris and I almost picked up another shade. 
I almost did, but I decided not to. Uh, if I'm gonna buy another Makeup by Mario product, it's probably going to be the blushes that come in the pot, the cream blushes that come in the pot. That, that's what I have my heart set on right now, but I don't need another new blush. And then I have three powder blushes for you. Uh, this one is actually, I'm wearing this product, but in a different shade on my cheeks today. Uh, this is M Cosmetics, um, Heaven's Glow in Magic Hour. This was the first one I bought though, and I now have three of these because I just love it. It's a baked product, but this is so glowy and beautiful on the skin. And all of these shades that I have work really well for me. The one I have on is a shade Venetian Rose. You can again see right here how like nice and shiny that is. Venetian Rose is like a warmer rose tone. Magic Hour is a little bit peachy. And then I have the beige in Rodin. I think that's what it's called. Um, so yeah, the Heaven's Glow blushes from um, M Cosmetics are some of my favorites. Um, I pretty much wanted to buy more from the brand earlier this year because I love that product so much. In a similar vein, another glowy blush is the Duo Glow from Natasha Denona. I don't think they still do this. I think the product itself has been discontinued, but Ryo is one of my most used high-end luxury blushes for sure. Definitely do not regret buying this. This is essentially NARS Orgasm for cool toned skin people. If NARS Orgasm is too peachy and too warm toned for you, then this was the color that I just went for because this is, it's got the pinkiness that NARS Orgasm has, but then it has an almost blue purple flash. It's super pretty, really happy with this one. Comes with a heaps of product as well. It's 10 grams, I'm never gonna use this up, but it's really pretty and I definitely will keep it around for some time to come. And finally, I was looking around my makeup collection. I was like, oh, what's another blush that I love that's more expensive? I was like, there's a reason why I still have most of my hourglass blushes. I did declutter one or two over the uh, over the past couple of years, but this one in mood exposure, I went back to it in the springtime and I just love this thing to pieces. It's so pretty, but I do feel that I'm getting less of the mood and I'm getting more of the exposure because these of course are swirled. They're essentially their face powder swirled with color. And I feel like I'm getting more and more of the face powder, but this works really well. These are also very glowy. I feel that I'm just loving glow on the cheeks. Anything to make me look glowy and glistening is what I prefer. So that's why all of my blush preferences fall into that category as well. So thank you so very much for joining me here today. Those were all of the products I wanted to show you. Remember that I will have links in the description box down below if you wanna see swatches or what these look like on my face because I have content up with these already. And so far, um, I'm, um, so far, I really hope you enjoy me doing this series and hearing my thoughts on products that are a little bit more pricey and that maybe you were thinking of splurging on and maybe I can be helpful that way. So for now, thumbs up the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more by me. I make new videos every single week and this week, as I mentioned, we're doing everything luxury and high end. So I hope you like, stay tuned for more and then I hope to see my next one. Bye-bye.